The sun is a great big ball of incandescent gas. The super hot gas in its core pushes the sun to expand outward. At the same time, the sun's own gravity pulls it inward to contract. And our sun is poised between these two forces in a stable equilibrium between gravity and nuclear fire, a balance it will maintain for another four billion years. But as the sun consumes hydrogen, its core very slowly shrinks. The sun's surface gradually expands in response. It happens very slowly, imperceptibly, over the course of millions of years. But in about a billion years, the sun will be 10% brighter than it is today. 10% may not sound like much, but that extra heat will have a big effect on Earth. When the sun finally exhausts its nuclear fuel four or five billion years from now, its gas will cool and the pressure will fall. The sun's interior can no longer support the weight of the outer layers, and the initial collapse will resume. Nothing lasts forever. Even the stars die. Helium, the ash of 10 billion years of hydrogen fusion, has built up in the core. With no nuclear fire to sustain its weight, the core collapses until it becomes hot enough to start fusing helium into carbon and oxygen. The core of the sun is now much hotter than it was before. Its atmosphere rapidly expands. Over the next billion years, it'll become bloated to more than 100 times its original size, a red giant star. It will envelop and devour the planets Mercury and Venus. and possibly the Earth. I like to think that tens of millions of years before that far distant future, if there still be life born of Earth, it will have found new homes among the stars. Once the sun burns through its helium, it will become highly unstable, casting off its outer layers into space. The exposed super hot core will flood its surroundings with high-energy ultraviolet light. The atoms will perform a wild, fluorescent dance. The sun will collapse like a souffle, shrinking a hundredfold to the size of the Earth. And at that point, the sun will be so dense that its overcrowded electrons will push back, stopping any further contraction kernel of light at the center will be the only part of the sun that endures. A white dwarf star that'll go on shining dimly for another hundred billion years. Will the beings of a distant future sailing past this wreck of a star have any idea of the life and worlds that it once warmed? <laughs> <laughs>